Sawyer from the University of Minnesota. So let's first uh, give you uh, guys an overview about our system. So our mailing system is an anti-censorship system, which can provide the social networking access to the user in the, uh, in the censored region. So um, our, right now our work is uh, pub uh, public and you can uh, download the code uh, from the GitHub link. So uh, let's talk about the related works. Uh, there are two, two papers talking about the censorship design, the common pitfalls when designing the censorship. The first work, they identify the perfect imitation is not uh, easy. And uh, for, the for the censorship design, if you try to imitate a genuine system, and you will find that you will very easily to be, to be incorrect. And th that gives the sensor the chance to detect the system. The example is the sky morph. And uh, another category of uh, um, talking about is the censorship design is the uh, mismatches between the genuine system and the censorship system. So uh, there are three categories mismatch, the channel mismatch, content mismatch, and the architecture mismatch. The, secondary ca sec the second category of related works I want to talk about is the uh, censorship, anti-censorship system, which use uh, email channels uh, as the uh, Ch uh, covert channel. Suede is, uh, is the system. It encapsulates the network layer traffic into the emails. And these emails are sent from the user to the proxies. And they, ex they exchange the, this information by using emails. So after the proxy gets this, informa get this information, it will recover the network, network layer traffic in the doing so. So the first property of the suite, it has no imitation flaw because suite uses the email channels directly, so there is no imitation. This is a good point. The second point, however, the suite is not content consistent. It uses uh, uh, email channels to transmit network layer traffic. This is not uh, content consistent. This, uh, this property enables the sensor to detect the suite service. For example, for a suite connection, it starts multiple, uh, it needs the, the email exchanges between the users and the proxies, many emails. The typical um, number is uh, eight. So a connection needs eight emails. The sensor can know that and it block that. And another problem about the suite is it is not channel consistent. So for the email service, it can tolerate the certain kind of uh, delays. But uh, if the suite are using the non-delay tolerant uh, protocols, such delay can be used uh, um, by the sensor to disrupt the system. And also we talk about the um, tweet email, which is uh, also uh, using the emails to send the tweets to the, uh, to the Twitter websites. But for the tweet email, it's not designed for the anti-censorship uh, purpose. So it is blocked. And the second uh, problem about tweet email is you have to trust the tweet email. If it, it is not, it's, it's malicious, it can post any messages on behalf of you. So that's another problem. So the, the third category, uh, the related work I want to talk about is our uh, system, FACET designed it uh, two years ago. The FASTA system can provide the video watching uh, like YouTube and, and uh, Vimeo in real time to the central re uh, user. Uh, so this system works in this way. You send, uh, for the user, it sends the video URL to the proxies. And the proxy, after getting this uh, message, it will start a Skype video conversation with you. So you accept the uh, video conference re request and you can watch the whole video from the Skype session. So the basic idea of a facet is, is try to serve most circumvention needs by a small set of uh, uh, unobservable transports. So there are uh, 
it is reported that there are three categories of uh, uh, needs. The, the first need, um, sorry. So the, so the first need is uh, uncensored video watching, and the second, way, uh, second one is uh, uh, uncensored uh, search engine. And the third one is uh, social networking. So we continue our work and then make it the next important step. Try to provide the social networking um, to the user. This is our design goals. First, unblockable. We want our system not to immutate immu other protocols. And also, we try to make our system consistent. And also, we require our system to be real-time service. We don't want the user to wait so long time. The third, credential security. We don't want to post uh, security threats to the, to the user about his uh, social networking accounts. The, third, the, the fourth is the low service overhead. We want our service very efficient so we can support many users in the same time. And uh, the last one um, is a side, uh, good side benefit of our system. We don't need client side uh, implementation. This is the attack model we uh, assume in this work. So we first we assume the state level attacker. There's no fancy here. And we also, we consider our own mailed serv servers are not, are not uh, trusted. So this, this is a very strong assumption because we want uh, our mailed user to be, uh, to be uh, very secure to use our system. So we make this strong assumption. So we consider two problems. One is about the credential privacy. So no mail server should know the credential of the, uh, of the user. And the second, and second one is the interaction integrity. We don't allow a single mail server to change the outcomes of the action or action itself. So we comes to this, uh, our uh, mail system design. This is an illustration how the user can use our system. So the user, um, if, if the user wants to post a tweet like uh, uh, pass 16, it will say, okay, many servers, post this message for me. And the many servers receiving this email and it will talk to the Twitter, say, okay, I'm the user. And the please post this message for me. And finally, the Twitter got this message um, and uh, posted that uh, message for the, uh, for the user. So we address three challenges. The first challenge is consistency. In, in our email, we don't encapsulate the network traffic. We just write down the messages we want to post or the IDs of the retweets. We write it down in the email directly. And the, the second one, we can protect our credential privacy. Uh, no single mailing server knows the credential. This seems contra uh, controversy because the mailing server needs the credential to finish the, finish the service because it has to prove to the Twitter that he is the user. But uh, in the same time, this user are not allowed to know the credential. And we will um, address this uh, problem in, our, uh, in later. In the third challenge, we try to guarantee the interaction integrity. No melee server can do malicious things um, here. Here we, uh, I'll give you a demo how our system works. So for the, for the user, at the very beginning, it will contact the mailed service directly without installing any client software. This is very convenient for the user. So the way is uh, write, uh, write down the email address of our mailing service and send it random emails to the, uh, our mailing service. And uh, later it will receive a reply with the attachment, which is HTML, and the user and the user can open this HTML attachment in the browser and input the username, the Twitter 
in our case, we use the Twitter as an example. Username, password, and the click the split. So we uh, split the password into two parts and uh, send each part of the password to different mailing servers. In the, so no single mailing server can know the actual credential. Here is an example of how to post a tweet. The user can, um, can click the post in the email, which is a following email from the previous one, and he can uh, write down the message he wants to post. Then it will see, uh, this is an example, double check whether the message are successfully posted. The next one is the example of how to retweet. So uh, we will talk about the decentralized credential. Why, so we split the credential, and the problem is how we combine the credential together. This is the problem. So we adopt the interceptor initiator architecture. So the initiator starts the connection as zero to the Twitter. But this traffic is related from the interceptor. The interceptor will find the application data, which includes the half, uh, the part of the credential, and then release the traffic, uh, stop at there, and try to do a secure computation with the initiator to recover the credential. So here we come to a problem, how to do the secure computation. A standard way to do this is to do a two-party computation. Uh, but we find that um, it's very costly. It takes six seconds to finish a single request and also um, six uh, MB bandwidth. So we try to find another solution, which is a GCM-based solution. We, we adopt the, the benefits of the GCM from the encryption, it's a stream cipher basically, and also it's authentication tag. It's an encryption than Mac. So we can able to split this computation into two parts. And the, um, and the initiator takes, uh, takes part of the encryption and the in interceptor takes part of the uh, authentication tag. And uh, we can XOR, uh, recover in plain uh, cipher text using, because it's a stream cipher. And uh, then for the interceptor, it can recover uh, to generate a valid tag um, with the help of the, of the user. So um, our system can achieve uh, um, 120 speed up from the traditional two-party computation. And we can see here, uh, sorry, I'm wrong time, and that all comes to the most important part. So, so you can see that our system can, can be finished uh, in much earlier time, about uh, uh, below point, uh, uh, point, point zero, uh, one seconds. And also our, the, for the server, it can finish the service in just uh, around uh, one second. And we can make a comparison with the traditional Twitter API. It also finished in one second. So our, our service is quite efficient. And the way we can support up to 200 simultaneous sessions in about uh, what, and each request can be finished in one second. So this is a comparison with our uh, other, other system. You can, if you are interested, you can read the paper. Uh, so this is the conclusion. We propose an anti-censorship system and you can send the email, send the uh, tweets for through the emails and you don't have to trust uh, uh, our mailing service. Thank you. <laughs>